Okay, post-trib moment number 24. Again, Steve Anderson proving that he can't handle plain scripture. Now, those who believe in the pre-tribulation rapture will often bring up this term, the time of Jacob's trouble, and they'll say, well, isn't the tribulation, isn't the seven-year tribulation the time of Jacob's trouble? That has nothing to do with, with believers. That has nothing to do with the church. That is the time of Jacob's trouble. That has everything to do with Israel. What's funny is that most of them say that, and they've never even read the passage. Oh, uh, yeah, they have. I have. I've preached on it. And we'll read it here in a minute to show you that he's a liar again. That talks about the time of Jacob's trouble. They just repeat that. Because if you look at the passage, it mentions nothing about the tribulation. It mentions... Whoa, uh, uh, you see the little game he played there? The time of Jacob's trouble, the seven-year time period, is never called the tribulation as a title. There shall be tribulation. There will be tribulation. But it is never called the tribulation. You see? So he goes, and the time of Jacob's trouble is never called the tribulation in the passage. You see the lie? You see how this guy lies? Continuing. It mentions nothing about seven years. It mentions nothing about the events of end times prophecy. And if... Uh, oh, it doesn't? It doesn't mention anything about the, the uh, things that happen there, about end time prophecy. Well, let's look about that. Let me minimize this thing here a little bit. Okay. Jeremiah. Uh, where are we at here? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay. Um. Look here at verse 6. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all, his, and all faces are turned into paleness? Why would that be? You want to talk about end times prophecy. Why would this be? Well, because the, guys can't, the, the men cannot take the mark of the beast, so guess what? They're not going to be eaten. That's what's going on there. But look up here. Look at verse 1, and he won't read this for you. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all these words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, days, reference to a future time period, saith the Lord that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Is Israel back in the land? Yes, they are a nation once more. This is Bible prophecy right here. And this little liar right here just said, there's nothing about prophecy, end times prophecy in the passage. He just lied to you. I mean, should you be surprised? <laughs> Saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Let me just, let me go back here just a minute, just so you can hear the liar again. About the tribulation, it mentions nothing about seven years. It mentions nothing about the events of end times prophecy. Oh, mentions nothing about the events of end times prophecy right there. I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. What do you think this is? That's end times prophecy. Okay? And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel. Look into it. Israel is another name for Jacob. God called Jacob Israel, and he called him Jacob. And concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of, of fear and not of peace. It doesn't mention anything at all about Bible prophecy. Liar. What a liar. And if, let me just read it for you. I mean, read the whole chapter and that would be good. But let me just, for sake of time, read you one part. Yeah, for sake of time and for sake of being exposed. The Bible says... Uh, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, now watch what this desperate little liar does. This, this is just, this is so pathetic it's funny. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him, but they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. 
Okay, right there is a, a reference to the second coming of Christ and the Millennial Kingdom being run from Jerusalem. Oh, but it doesn't have anything to do with Bible prophecy. <laughs> yeah. So this is again Jeremiah chapter 30. I just read for you verses 6 through 9. But let me just read for you the key verse again in verse 7. Alas, for that day is... Okay, now watch what he does. ...is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So according to that verse, what is the time of Jacob's trouble? The Bible says it is a day. The Bible... <laughs> He's actually being serious here. I know probably some of you Bible believers that have actually been in the Word for a few years, you know, you're probably laughing right now. Try to, you know, try to compose yourselves, okay? Don't fall off your chair or anything laughing here. The day is just one day. That's what it's referring to. Oh, you mean so like things like the day of the Lord? You know? Oh, that's just a reference to one day. You know, not the millennial kingdom. You know, 1,000 years is with the Lord as a day, you know? A day always refers to just one 24-hour period. You know? I mean, let me just show you here. I mean, just to show you how ridiculous this is. To say that a day, you force it into a 24-hour period. Okay? Look at this here. Okay, verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Be not ignorant, you know? Steve Anderson, that's what he is. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Yes, there are portions of Scripture that say day, referring to a period of time. And you'd have to be a total blockhead to read Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, and think it's only talking about one day. Oh, they're, they're going to have... Uh, their hands on their stomach, you know, travailing in pain because they can't, they don't have any food in one day. Um, I don't know too many people that are starving to death like that and their face is turning pale after not having food for one day. This is absurd. How could you come up with such a stupid interpretation of the Bible, of the scripture here? And notice it says, it is the time of Jacob's trouble time of Jacob's trouble. That's not 24 hours. Give me a break. He's so desperate to disprove the pre-tribulation rapture that he'll, can, he'll, just, he'll, he'll just lie. However, he has to lie to try and prove his false doctrine. Don't listen to the liar. This man is a liar.